The blog post about data marketplace is actually because it's like currently a very hot topic within the data atmosphere, context, and also because we're working on data marketplace use cases at various of our clients. So that's why I thought, okay, maybe it's a good idea to put our thoughts down in a blog post, share our ideas with the world so other companies, people can read it and learn from the experiences we got at our clients, let's say. Maybe first of all, data marketplace is like a so sort of a central platform that you have in a company, can be internally, but also within companies to like make this platform where consumers meet producers of data assets. And, you know, companies have lots of data, they have lots of reports, lots of models, but there's only a fraction of that that is really important to them. They're really, or their most important data assets or data products, if you like to call them that. So it's important to give your employees a platform to share these data assets, these products with each other. So as a company, you probably have like databases with thousands and ten thousands of tables or data sets, but only very few of them will really have value. And those are the data sets that people are looking for. So ideally, as a company, you would like to create this sort of one-stop shop where people can easily find those products, can be data sets, can be dashboards, can be models that are very valuable and are immediately or are ready to be consumed immediately. So you need this sort of a platform where you can easily find data assets that, you, that are ready to go, actually, ready to use. can be multiple people. can just be your HR or marketing that produces a data set that is very valuable to other people within the company to work with. can be your data team that does some transformation on source data or generates some data in another way from another source and makes it available to other people. Or it could also just be your reporting people creating a valuable dashboard that can be used by other people. So it can be multiple people from multiple teams within your company. And that's why it's important to have to, or to give these people a place to meet each other, where really the producers of those data assets can meet the consumers. People can see what we already have, so we can avoid duplication of a product or a data set, building the same thing twice, but also build on top of each other. So if someone has a great data set of marketing or on customer information, you can use that as a source for an AI model or a, a great dashboard. And you don't have to, to find that data yourself again. So it's also a question of efficiency and finding like the right data assets in the fast possible way. It's very important at the start to define, okay, what do we want to see in this data marketplace? What are data products for us as a company? Because... It can be that you, that you consider a data product to only, see, to only be like a data set, but it can also be that the data product for you can be a dashboard or an AI model or even a combination of these two. So step one is always defining, okay, what you want to have in this data marketplace? What are the data products you want to see there? And then step two is defining, okay, now that we know what data products you want to show there, do we have all the right information? You probably have like a data catalog, but we will need some business context, maybe some privacy information as well. Do we have all the right information and can we get it together in that one place, the marketplace? And once you have that, the third step will just be to apply the right form of governance because your marketplace will be that spot or that platform where your users expect to find data, reports, models that are ready to use. So you need to, really need to govern them, measure the quality, Make sure they're instantly accessible so people can work with it. So once you have that, you have like a platform that is ready to go with like the products you would like to show in there that are of great quality and people know that are governed and they can easily find the right information and ownership about that kind of products. Great That's data great. governance is really a prerequisite of a marketplace because you don't want to show products in there that are not ready to use or there is some data quality issue, some information lacking, people don't know exactly what it means, how to get started with it. So great governance is really fundamental for having a good and a functional marketplace within your company. I really believe that it's important to have this like one-stop shop, this marketplace for your data, because your company will have like so many people working with data, not only within your data team, but also in other teams, and always the same question pop up, like, where can I find information on this data set? How can I build this dashboard in the easiest possible way? So you really have constantly evolving like spectrum of like people who need data or data products and people who build them. And you really need this easy platform to just 
allow the producers to meet the consumers and uh, get the most out of their data because that way as a company you will work uh, in the most efficient way. With business case, one of our clients we saw was uh, really they were changing their data strategy. They were going to focus more on towards data products to give those products and services that really provide value for your organization the most attention, focus on that. And if you have or if you are trying to apply such a strategy, the focus or the question is always like, okay, but which data products do we have? Where can I find those? What do they mean? So you need a sort of a platform with information on your data products, but not all your data assets you have within the company. So sort of a limited scope. And within Colibra, for example, you have like the marketplace functionality where you can choose to only show those products, those data sets, dashboards, models, let's say, who are certified or labeled to be shown in a marketplace. So instead of having your consumers browse through or search through um, ten thousands of tables in your data catalog, you can choose to only show those 50, 100 data sets that really provide value to you. So if you, you can have in Colibra this sort of filtered view where you choose to only display those products that really have value. So you can really have the people focus on those and then work on, then work on the other data assets in the background, but don't push them to your data consumers, let's say.